hello guys welcome to this course so in this lesson we will be studying about uh, hepatitis uh, this course is presented by me navneet sharma you can know more about me from here you can follow me on this link and if you like the lesson can you rate review and recommend uh, hepatitis may be defined as the infection of liver caused by viruses like hepatitis a virus hepatitis b virus hepatitis c virus hepatitis d virus and e virus okay uh, hepatitis caused by other than HAV and HBV virus is called as non A and non B hepatitis. Hepatitis is also caused by uh, cytomegalovirus, Epstein Barr virus, yellow fever virus, rubella virus, or uh, viruses of herpex simplex, varicella, and adenoviruses can also cause severe hepatitis in immune compromised patients. Okay. Approximately 4 million people in India suffer every year from one or other form of acute viral hepatitis hepatitis a it is formally known as infectious hepatitis or uh, epidemic jaundice caused by hepatitis a virus risk of transmitting hav is the greatest from two weeks before and one week after the onset of jaundice uh, now the incub incubation period of uh, hepatitis a virus is uh, 15 to 45 days hepatitis a and more so transmission uh, first one being the fecal oral route. Uh, it is the major, major source of uh, route of transmission. It may occur by a direct uh, from person to person contact or indirect by the way of contaminated water, food or milk. It rarely transmits through uh, parental route and through sex. Now the clinical features of hepatitis A. The clinical symptoms of hepatitis A occur in three phases. Uh, there is an initial prodromal phase uh, lasting for 2-5 to five days characterized by anorexia, loss of appetite, uh, nausea, malaise and mild fever. Severe vomiting may also occur. This is followed by the lactaric phase with onset of jaundice, uh, the dark color urine and pale stools. Now the third one being the last one is the recovery phase which is characterized by gradual resolution of the symptoms. Uh, next we have the control and treatment of hepatitis A virus. Uh, Pre-exposure prophylaxis can be given to the people who migrate to endemic area and post-exposure prophylaxis uh, with immune serum globulin in this amount given in intramuscularly uh, within two weeks of exposure. Okay, there is no specific vaccine for hepatitis A virus. Now the hepatitis B, it is formally known as serum hepatitis. It is caused by hepatitis B virus and transmitted usually by the uh, parental route. Hepatitis B is a major public health problem in India. Hepatitis B virus is present in blood, saliva, vaginal secretions and semen of infected person. The disease may be transmitted to others either during incubation period or acute phase of diseases. The incubation period of uh, hepatitis B virus is 45 to 180 days. Hepatitis B, more so transmission, okay. Uh, it is transmitted by transfusion of infected blood and blood products, dialysis, contaminated syringe needles, uh, pricks to skin and through surgical and dental procedures, okay. Uh, this is a diagram of hepatitis B virus, you can uh, refer to this diagram. Uh, this, this is a complicated, uh, this is not very much complicated. As most of the viruses generally contain a pro, uh, protein coat with the, the RNA or the, uh, DNA inside present. Okay, so there is a circular DNA in the hepatitis B virus. Uh, next we have, it may be transmitted from a hepatitis B virus carrier, mother to their babies. Okay, carrier to their babies. Hepatitis B clinical features. The clinical symptoms of hepatitis B are similar to other types of viral hepatitis. But it is complicated by carrier state and by chronic liver disease. Uh, which may follow the infection. Chronic liver disease may lead to primary liver cancer also. Now the prevention and treatment of hepatitis B, there is no specific treatment for hepatitis B. However, the following preventive measures can be taken in the form of vaccines. Hepatitis plasma derived vaccine. This vaccine is given in three doses at the zero, first and sixth months. Each dose contains one milliliter of vaccine it should be given intramuscularly. Children under 10 years of age uh, should be given half of the above uh, dose at the same time intervals. Booster doses may be given at the uh, at a time interval of about 3 to 8 years. Now, hepatitis B recombinant DNA yeast derived vaccine 
this vaccine is given in dose of 10 to 20 gram initially and against uh, at, a, at the first and sixth month okay if a person so shows uh, the symptoms immediately after receiving hepatitis b positive blood uh, the hepatitis b immunoglobulin that is uh, hbig injection may be given for protection two doses should be adequate hbig should be given in this amount at an interval of uh, 30 days okay now the hepatitis c hepatitis c virus is common most cause of uh, post transfusion hepatitis the virus is mainly transmitted through transfusion of contaminated blood products 50 percent cases cases are related to the intravenous drug users needles okay the incubation period from six to seven weeks there is 50 percent in, uh, incidence of chronic hepatitis which may lead to cirrhosis of liver or liver cancer interferon is the only drug that, uh, that has been found effective in the treatment of hepatitis c virus infection uh, another hepatitis d virus hepatitis d virus alone cannot cause hepatitis okay remember that only hepatitis d virus alone cannot cause the hepatitis hepatitis <coughs> zero or delta infection occurs either as a concomitant infection of hepatitis d virus with hepatitis b or as a super infection okay it occurs among drug addicts and hemophiliacs now the delta hepatitis can be an acute or a chronic hepatitis with a later frequency leading to hepatitic cirrhosis okay this is a this is mostly common uh, condition like hepatitic cirrhosis and uh, uh, liver cancer may be produced may be produced by mostly all all, all kinds of hepatitis viruses so it may be a b c d or e okay now treatment prevention and mode of transmission are same as the that of hepatitis d virus it means the basics are similar only certain details are uh, varied in in these viruses okay next we have the hepatitis e virus this infection uh, caused by hepatitis e virus is essentially a waterborne disease only after an incubation period of two to nine weeks okay a self-limiting acute viral hepatitis appear i guess it is a self-limiting acute viral hepatitis lasting for a period of several weeks followed by the recovery phase i told you that recovery is the last phase uh, now the clinical features and uh, are similar to the hepatitis a infection now the important features of a viral hepatitis uh, this, this is in this line we study the characters the, uh, these are the characters of hepatitis a b c d and e viruses okay now the causative virus hepatitis a virus b virus c virus C D virus and e virus respectively uh, now uh, remember one thing that only hepatitis b virus is a dna virus all other hepatitis viruses are rna viruses okay next we have mode of transmission hepatitis a virus spreads mainly through the fecal oral route b virus spreads through blood and blood products uh, drug addiction and sexual contacts etc c virus may tr transmit through blood and blood products only and d virus also transmits through blood and blood products and e virus is a waterborne or a fecal oral route incubation period being 15 to 45 days 45 to 180 days so six to seven weeks it can be variable in hepatitis d and two to nine weeks in hepatitis e another common age group affected children and of hepatitis a any age any age any age and adults mostly in hepatitis e virus okay uh, mortality it is very low uh, it is very high in hepatitis b it is moderate in hepatitis c it is very high in hepatitis d in hepatitis c it is low but high in pregnant women now risk of liver cancers it is nil in hepatitis a and present present in hepatitis b and c it is also nil in uh, hepatitis d and e uh, so this course ends here i hope you guys like the lesson keep learning thank you